Hey there! In this video, I'm gonna go over what happened in the months of June for the Greater Toronto Area Real Estate Market as well as City of Toronto and York Region. So overall, for the Greater Toronto Area, home sale and the overselling selling price remained above last year level and due to the three reasons, resilient economy, population growth, and tight labor market. That's the reason why it kept the price above last year level. The market in very tight inventory is low and the demand is remained stronger than this time last year, despite the borrowing costs. So let's dive right in the detail and take a look at the number. Let me show you my screen over here. So first of all, let's take a look at the Greater Toronto area at the macro level. Total sale versus active listing. So sale months over months decreased 17% uh, from over uh, 900 to almost 7,500. Why active listing has increased almost 90% from nearly 12,000 uh, 12, to more than 14,000 active listing. The total sale year over year, however, we saw an increase of, of almost 16% from uh, almost 6,500 to almost 7,500 sales in June. The month of inventory remained low, below two months of inventory. So in May, we saw a 1.3 months of inventory, and in June, we saw a 1.9 months of inventory. The average selling price for all type of home, we saw a slightly increase, 3.2% from over 1.14 million last June to almost 1.18 million this June. Now, let's take a look at the average price of all type property month over month. We saw a slightly uh, decrease of 1.8% from over 1.19 million to over 1.18 million. Now, if we take a look at the average price of buy home type, uh, detached, semi detached, and tower home uh, year over year, we saw an increase. And with the exception that condominium, uh, we saw a decrease of 1% year over year. For the months over month price uh, by home type, uh, there's a, a mix here. Detail section, we saw a decrease of 1.6%. Tau home, we saw a 2.4%. And condominium, we saw 1.2%. Uh, only semi-detached, uh, month over month, we saw an increase of 1.4%. The average day on the market, uh, year over year, decreased from 24 days last June to 19 days this June. If you take a look at days on the market month over month, we saw a slightly decrease from uh, 20 days in May to 19 days in June. Now, let's dive in the city of Toronto. Again, uh, total sale versus active listing, we saw sale uh, month over month decrease 13.8% and active listing, we saw an increase of by 11.6% from almost um, you know, 50 100 to over 5,500 uh, active listing. Now let's take a look at total sale year over year. We saw an increase 17% from almost 2,500 to uh, over 2,800 sale in June this year. Month of inventory, month over month, we saw a slightly increase from 1.5 months of inventory in May to 1.9 months of inventory in June. If you take a look at the average price of all type property for the city of Toronto, it remained uh, quite, quite the same, 1 .1, over 1.15 million. And for the average price of all type property, month over month, however, we saw a slightly decrease, 3.7%, from over 1.19 million last in May to over 1.15 million in June. If you take a look at Average price by home type in Toronto year over year uh, with detached, semi-detached, and town home, we saw an increase of year over year with again this exception of condominium section decrease 1% year over year. Now for the average price by home type months over months, uh, we again similar to the greater Toronto area, City Toronto saw a mix of detached, we saw a decrease 6.7%, semi-detached. 0.7% increase and then town home decreased by 2.4% uh, and condominium we saw a decrease of 1.8%. For the average days on the market, 
a year over year we saw a slightly decrease from 23 days uh, last June to 20 days this June. For the days on the market month over month we also saw a decrease from 22 days in May to 20 days in June. Now let's head over for York region. For the total sale of York region we saw a decrease um, sell uh, month over month 23.5% from over 1700 to over 1300. For active listing however we saw an increase uh, over 20% uh, from over 2100 active listing to over 2500 uh, active listing. Total sale year over year we saw an increase 28.8% from uh, slightly over 1000 sale to uh, over 1300 sale in June. Now for the month of inventory for York region we saw an uh, increase uh, month over month from 1.2 months of inventory to uh, exactly 2 months of inventory in June. For the average price for all type property for York region, a uh, year over year we saw an increase of 6.4% from over $1.3 million to over $1.39 million in June. For the average price of all type property, again for month over month in York region, we saw a slightly increase by 1% from over $1.377 million to over $1.377 Million. Now let's take a look at the average price by home type, the detached, semi-detached and townhome year over year we saw an increase. However, for the condominium we saw a decrease of 1.1%. For the average price by home type month over month, again there's a mix here, a detached we saw an increase by 0.5%, semi-detached increase month over month by 2.5%, Townhome, we saw a decrease of 1% and a condominium, we saw an increase of 0.2%. Now, days on the market, month over month, we saw uh, it remained the, class, the same at 19 days uh, from May to June. And days on the market, year over year, we saw a decrease from 27 days last June to 19 days this June. With uh, the detail of overall greater Tokyo area, city, Toronto, and York region, we can see here that overall number of sales and the price uh, of a selling price remain above last year level. And it's going to be very interesting to see what Bank of Canada is going to announce in terms of the interest rate on Wednesday, July 12th. So stay tuned for the upcoming video where I will love to discuss the Bank of Canada interest announcement. Take care, have a wonderful day, and see you in the next video.